Hey guys, welcome back. This is Otaku Gamer, and you're watching Let's Play Psychonauts. Today is a bonus episode, so if you don't really care, turn, go to the other episode and go watch that. And, you know, whatever. Everything in this episode is all extra stuff for people who, you know, care about that stuff, like I do. What I'm going to be doing, like I said in the last video, is I'm going to be going around to all the kids and using clairvoyance on them, because it'll tell you what they think of you. I'll give an example right here. Uh, I think this is JT. Okay, he thinks that Raz is a cowboy. Makes sense, because JT is obsessed with cowboys. What about this guy who I can't remember his name? He thinks I'm a hockey player. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't remember his name, though. I don't remember everyone's names, and I feel bad about that, because I really should. But I don't. Anyway. Hey, Dogen. What's up? Actually, I want to talk to Dogen. And so I'm really sorry for not believing you. Right. Yeah, that too. I should really not have blown so many of you up. I just get so confused sometimes. Okay, that's what I wanted, but let me... I wanted to see that cutscene, but let me see what he has to say. Hey, want to help me save the world? Well, this could take a while. They're really mad. Hmm, guess he doesn't want to help us save the world. What do you see me as? Wait, where am I? Uh, hang on. Come on. Uh, back up. He doesn't actually see me. He sees my hat. And that's it. Huh. Go figure. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know where all the kids are, so a lot of this video is just going to be me searching for them. But this isn't exactly a big camp, so it should be easy to find them all. Anyway. Uh, come up here. Is anyone up here? Yes, Bobby Zilch and the other girl. Hello. Oh, I have to be up here. Wait a minute. Hey, want to help me save the world? That's what we're doing, duh! Chloe has some friends who she's calling who are going to kick the coach's ass! Okay. Let's head up here because he's just looking at Chloe and will not look at anyone else. Um. Come on, get, get up there so I can see what I look like. I can't see what I look like. This is... Um, exit. Why am I... Not up. There we go. Okay, I'm up. Chloe, what do you see me as? You see me as an alien. Of course you do. But you refuse to look at anyone besides Chloe. That's terrible. Um, means that I can't really get a good look at who I am. I think I'm a one of those punchable clown doll things, you know, when you punch them and they go down, but then they pop right back up. They're like inflatable or something. I don't know. I think I'm one of those in his mind, which would make a lot of sense. All right. So I think that's all the kids in this area. So we're going to go to the main campgrounds now. All right. Who else is around here? Let's see. First, I guess we should check inside the cat. Oh, hello. All right, Elka. Okay, I need to be out here. I hear you, Jaguar, and I don't care. Nils. It's really hard to even tell where you are with this. Okay, Nils. Um... I can't really see where I am. Oh, I'm all the way down here. Hi. Ow, 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 ow. This is not good. Okay, this is going to be difficult because so many of the characters are in love with other characters. And so they won't look at anyone else. <sighs> Makes it really hard to use clairvoyance on them. There we go. Oh, okay. So Nil sees me as not a girl. Okay. What about Elka? Uh, Elka sees me as a fly. Alright. Anyway. 
Let's head inside. <laughs> See who's inside. Hopefully the people inside will be easy to use clairvoyance on. Alright, so... You guys. So you see me as basically myself, but taller. And what about you? Same thing. Okay. Uh, what about you? You see me as an ear. Makes sense, because I'm just an ear to listen to all your stories, right? What do you see me as? A giant mouth. Okay. Well then, is there anyone in the TV room, which I actually haven't been in yet? No? Okay. Well then. Alright, I'm done in here. Let's leave. Because there's still this whole area to check, and then there's two more areas to check after that. Uh, since this is a bonus episode and not an actual episode episode, I'm not going to be as strict about the time limit. I'm just going to keep... See you in hell. Okay, I'm just going to keep going until I find all the kids. So if it takes like 30 minutes, you know, whatever. Oh, one thing to note. This bulletin board, you should press, I think it's F when you're next to it. There's also a similar billboard uh, or bulletin board uh, down by the docks. Just keep pressing F and Raz will read all the notices on the board. There's an achievement for listening to all of them. Similarly, you come down here to this log and do the same thing. You press F and Raz will read something about the history of this camp. And again, if you listen to all of them, there's an achievement. Anyway. Hey! What's up, Maloof? Now wire the other end to the gas tank. Oh, hello, Rasputin. What are you guys doing? Taking care of business. The fewer questions you ask, the better. Okay. Yeah. There are other cutscenes throughout the game that I've kind of been not really getting. But they, they kind of show the progression of Mikhail and Maloof's friendship. So, you know, if you, if you want to see those, go out, get the game. Play it yourself and, you know, look them up. Or just be on the lookout. Explore everywhere. In between episodes... Not in between episodes. In between levels, go around and talk to everyone. If they don't have anything to say, that's fine. Go to another level, then go around and talk to everyone again. Just do that, and you'll see so much cool and innovative, st innovative stuff. I don't know if innovative is the right word, but it's really cool stuff. Anyway, what do you have to say about me? Oh, wow. I like this. You see me as a businessman, right? Or maybe a mobster, I don't know. But I look classy. Yeah. Okay. And Mikhail, what do you see of me about? Uh, you pretty much see me as me, just a, a crude drawing form. That's kind of boring. Alright, well, screw you, Mikhail. Maloof's kind of better, in my opinion, because he sees me as a classy gentlemanly type. With a cane! I have a cane! Anyway, any kids down here? I doubt it. I doubt that there are any kids in this area, but I'm checking it mainly because I want to go to where the janitor is and see what he has to say about me. Oh, there are kids here. Cool. Okay, well, I'll see what they have to say about me as well. Yay, Mr. Listen, you gotta help. You gotta kill me, son. I can't take the cheering anymore. I'm sorry I put their brains back. Maybe a bear will get him soon. Maybe. If not, you gotta find my drain cleaner and pour it down my throat, okay? <laughs> Alright, what do you what do you see me as? A pile of rubbish. Okay, what about you guys? You see me as a football player. And you? Also a football player. Okay. Well then. I think that's everyone in this area. Hello, Cougar. You're not gonna get me. I'm running away. Okay, I'm trying to think who else we have to find. Um, we have to find those two best friend girls. And we have to find uh, the invisible girl and the kid with the sailor hat. Hey, Crawler. What's up? What do you see me as? A pile of leaves. How innovative. All right. See you in hell. I, I think I ran over someone, and that's why I said that. Okay, so 
But I, I think that's all the kids. Just those four that we're looking for. Maybe. I don't actually know. <laughs> oh, um... Benny. We're looking for Benny. I don't know where Benny is. Benny's the guy with the ears. So... Yeah. Um... Or, oh, there they are. Oh, look at that. They're making out. Well, sorry to interrupt you, but... I want to see what I look like. It's kind of hard to tell. Because you're kind of... Making out. Um, I think I'm a shoe. In her mind. And you? I'm... A scary demon? Looks like it. Yeah, oh, I'm a kidnapper of little girls. Okay. And I'm gonna die. Yep. Alright, maybe I can get a better look at what I was in... Whatever her name is. Her eyes. I, I can't remember their names. Um... Yeah, alright, you. Come on. There we go, okay. I'm gonna jump out here. Move your head. Nope! Get back. Okay. Not, not you. Okay. No! Jeez. The developers put this Easter egg in, and then they're like, Oh, hey, we're not gonna let you actually see what you look like to people, because... Yep, I'm a shoe. We're not gonna let you see what people see you as, because half of them are too busy looking at each other. Alright. Now, we're still looking for the best friend girls, and wherever Benny is. But also you. You see me as a sailor. Predictable. Okay. Um... Where is everyone else, though? There's, like, three more kids, if I'm not forgetting anyone. And... I mean, there's also... Ford Cruller. I'm actually gonna go back to him and see how he sees me. Um... Let's see. Where would those kids be? See, I wouldn't think they'd be out in the wilderness. That's why I didn't check out in the wilderness. But maybe that's where they are. Hmm. I'm gonna search up here. No. Alright. Out here? Let's, let's, let's search around the wilderness this time. See if we can't find them. Hell, maybe they're back in the cabins. Because I didn't actually look inside the cabins. That could be something. There's a cougar. That's the main reason why I don't think they're walking around in the wilderness, because there are wild animals that will kill you. Um... No one in here. Uh, there's the bear. He can't reach me in here, so that's fine. Uh, no. Hmm. Well... Hi, cougar. I don't care about you. Um... Oh, I just killed a squirrel. Huh. They might be up in the cabins. Possibly. Hmm. Or maybe they're up by the truck? The, the, the tree that's eating a truck? Yes? No? No. Okay, they're not up here. Not around here. Jeez, where are they? I know they have to be around here somewhere. Because there is another achievement related to them. But I, I won't discuss what that achievement is until... I get to the point where I can actually do it. Um, I don't think I ever climbed this, did I? Not that there's anything up here, because I've gotten everything in this area, right? Yeah, yeah, I've gotten everything in this area, so then what's the point of this? Uh, nothing, I suppose. Alright, let's... Keep searching. Um... We didn't check on the other side of the log, did we? A giant log in the parking lot? Which, incidentally, is a small parking lot. <laughs> I know there's not much staff here, but still. That's a really tiny parking lot. Um... No, okay, they're not by the front gate. I want that car. I want to have access to that car. 
Anyway, I'm actually going to run up because it's faster to run than it is to levitate up slopes like this. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that they're in the cabins, which I didn't actually search. I should have searched them, but I didn't. That's the only place I can think of where they might be. Actually, thank you for doing that, because you gave me a speed boost. Alright. So... Are they inside these cabins? I hope so. Hello? Oh! Hi! You see me as a fly. And you see me as a fly. Well, that was totally worth it. Not. Okay, Benny! Where are you, Benny? He kind of ran off to go try and find Coach Oleander. So he might be... You know, trying to find Coach Oleander. I don't know where he is. Benny! Where are you, buddy? Even though you're not really my buddy, because you keep trying to beat me up. Um... I can't think of where he would be. Is is he up on top of this? No. I can't think of where Benny would be. Hmm. Tell you what. I'm going to look around <laughs> some more. And when I find him, I'll cut back in. So be right back. Okay, so I'm inside this area because I couldn't find Benny. And I did some research online. Apparently, Benny does not show up in camp ever again. Uh, there was some talk that occasionally he'll reappear in the observation room. Considering you can't really jump down there, that doesn't help anyway. So I guess Benny's gone. Alright, whatever. Ford Crawler, what do you see me as? You see me basically in your clothes. I guess this is the Psychonauts uniform? Hmm, that's interesting. Alright, well, I guess we've seen what everyone sees of us. But that's not all. That's all I'm going to do, but that's not all you can do. You can use clairvoyance on pretty much anything. So on, on squirrels, on bosses on pretty much everything, and it's very entertaining to see what different things see you as. Uh, and, you know, also, like I mentioned, in between every level, go back and talk to everyone. They sometimes have new things to say. There are sometimes new cutscenes that explain different sub-stories that we didn't really get into, because it just would have taken so much time and effort it just it's much better to you leave that as an incentive for you to go out and get the game yourself and explore it yourself there's just so much to see in this game um, another thing back way way back near the beginning when I had the button that Sasha gave us go around and talk to everyone with that button uh, back in the milkman conspiracy level uh, where you have all those different items show all those items to the final boss, and apparently it does stuff, something that I never knew. Uh, and also you can do that to a car as well, you can show all those items to a car. I don't know, whatever. I mean, even the crow feather that we have, you could probably talk to people with the crow feather, or maybe with the bracelet, I don't know. Experiment. That's what this game is all about, experimenting. And it's about really fantastic platforming, but, you know, whatever. Explore. Go out, buy the game, support the developer, and just explore everything. That's all I can really tell you. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's bonus episode. Next time, or possibly this time, because I don't know when I'm going to upload this bonus episode. It, you know, whatever. But in the next episode, the next true episode, I'm going to be back up at the top of the tower, ready to finish the game. All right? So, I will see you guys then. Until then, this has been Otaku Gamer. You've been watching Let's Play Psychonauts, and I'll see you guys next time.